What effect does a judgment from one court have on actions pending in another court? Can one court's order preclude litigants in another court from eliciting certain testimony or calling certain witnesses? We explore those questions in Baker v. General Motors Corporation. Ronald Elwell worked for General Motors, or GM, in the company's engineering analysis group. His work primarily focused on vehicle fires. In this position, he often assisted attorneys representing GM in products liability litigation. Over time, the party's relationship deteriorated. In 1991, Elwell sued GM in Michigan State Court for wrongful discharge. GM counterclaimed and accused Elwell of disclosing confidential company information. Ultimately, the parties were able to settle their dispute. As part of their settlement, GM and Elwell agreed to the entry of a permanent injunction. That injunction prohibited Elwell from testifying as a witness in any matter involving GM without the company's prior written consent. The party's settlement agreement provided that Elwell wouldn't violate the injunction if he testified in another matter pursuant to court order. However, the court's injunction didn't incorporate that exception. Thereafter, Kenneth Baker sued GM in Missouri State Court for his mother's wrongful death. Baker's mother was a passenger in a GM vehicle that caught fire following a collision. The case was removed to federal district court. When Baker subpoenaed Elwell to testify, GM objected based on the Michigan injunction. The district court allowed Elwell to testify. The jury found in favor of Baker. GM appealed to the Eighth Circuit and argued that Elwell shouldn't have been allowed to testify. The Eighth Circuit reversed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. 